scientists are puzzled by these discoveries. Can you explain them? Welcome to Watch Jojo. I'm your host, Abby Gagno, and today we're going to be taking a look at five weird discoveries from around the world that you may not have heard of. Number five, Lady Daya. In 1971, workers were digging an air raid shelter in China when they unearthed the tomb of Zwin Zui. Zwin Zui, aka Lady Daya, or the Marquis of Daya, was the wife of Li Kang, a ruler of the Han Dynasty. Lady Daya, was to believed to have died around 163 BCE. What's strange is that her body was remarkably preserved. Her skin was soft and moist, her organs and blood vessels were intact, small amounts of type A blood was found in her veins, there was hair in her head with a wig pinned to the hair clasp on the back of her head. What was even stranger was that Zwin Zui's body was soaked in an unknown liquid that was mildly acidic with some magnesium in it. Clearly these people knew how to stick around. Number four. The Voynich Manuscript. The Voynich Manuscript was named after the Polish book dealer Wilfred Voynich, who purchased it in 1912. It is an illustrated codex handwritten in an unknown writing system. The artifact has been carbon dated to the early 15th century, and it may have been created in Italy during the Italian Renaissance. The Voynich Manuscript has been studied by many cryptographers, but no one has yet demonstratively deciphered the text. Recently, claims began to erupt that the document was decoded. What had happened was a computer scientist ran the script through an AI and determined the language to be Hebrew. That being said, the words do not form sentences that make any sense. Despite the inability to decode the Voynich manuscript, it is believed to be a guide to create medicine with herbs based off the strange illustrations found throughout the manuscript. Number three, the Pandora virus. The Pandora virus is essentially a giant virus First discovered in 2013 in a pond in Australia and in seawater at the coast of Chile. What's even weirder is that 93% of the Pandora viruses, 2,500 genes cannot be traced back to any known lineage in nature. In other words, they are completely alien to us. Pandora viruses do not seem to be harmful to humans. They're mostly found in marine environments, affecting amoeba, preying mostly on plankton. It was initially thought to have been a fourth domain of life but has since then been debunked by scientists. Regardless, big scary alien viruses from the sea, no thank you. Number two, the Antikythera mechanism. This weird artifact was discovered on May 17, 1902 by archeologist Valros Steus. Retrieved from a shipwreck off the coast of the Greek island, Antikythera, hence its name, the item is believed to have been designed and constructed by Greek scientists and has been variously dated to about 87 BCE to 205 BCE. It is believed that this complex clock-like device is used by ancient Greeks to calculate the movement of the stars and the planets. What's even weirder was that this device was deemed prochronistic, meaning it was too technologically advanced for its time. So the question is, how did it get there? Number one, the London Hammer. The London Hammer is an artifact that gets its name from having been discovered in London, Texas by a man named Max Hahn. It's an iron and wood hammer, which is pretty normal. What isn't normal is that it's embedded in 400 million year old rock. Observers have noticed that the style of the hammer is similarly fashioned to American hammers of the 1800s. Creationists claim it to be a monumental pre-flood discovery, whereas others claim the rock to have been formed around the object over time. Whether you believe one or the other, there's one final shocking point about the London Hammer. The artifact hasn't rusted since its discovery all the way back in 1936. So there you have it. From perfectly preserved bodies to puzzling unearthed artifacts, it definitely makes you wonder how much we don't know about this world. Let us know down below which discovery you think takes the cake as the weirdest. Also, be sure to subscribe so you don't miss any of our videos. I'm Abby Gagno from Watch Jojo, and thanks for watching. Thank you.